Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Jack Devine. Welcome back to another episode of Jack Snacks. Today on the show, we're going to snack on this sucker, the Red House Roll. Mmm, tasty. All right, so this little lick, I use it all the time, and I learned it from, duh, Red House. So, uh, key of B, blues, although I believe Hendrix played it in C, just tuned down, so, but I still play it here a lot. So I can get that low E. Okay, what am I doing? I'm doing a bar here across the seventh fret B and E strings. And then I hammer on to the sixth degree of our B chord. The downstroke. Okay, that's going to include the high E, like that. Okay, so a quick little, like a little flam. Hammer on. And then I roll back with my right hand. Down, roll. Okay, and I come through basically the whole thing. Okay, now along the way, we can hit a lot of different options, but the one that I'm going to start you off with is this. And you can do that. Okay, I'm not an index finger proponent. I prefer the thumb over. I think it just sounds so much more gutsy and authentic. That Stroke. Just like that. Do not try to go through with the straight pick. That is a recipe for disaster. We wanna we wanna roll our hand forward. Well, I guess backward actually, sorry. Backwards and pull up gently and brushing. Okay? Mmm, that's it. Just like that guy. Anyway. Okay, so that's over the one chord with the ma major third in there. Okay, now over the four chord, we can do the same idea. And we skip the hammer on there, and we hammer on, pull through to the D string. And that's going to be sounding like the five chord of our, the five uh, note, the fifth note, right? Of our four chord, the, the fifth of our four. Ugh. Anyway, All right, and then we're going to be doing the flat seven of our four, the nine of our four, and again, the octave of the four. The octave of the five of the four. This is a lot to talk about there. Sorry, folks. Anyway, it's basically a substitute for this little number. Okay, or minor seven flat five shape, really. Really wonderful sound there. But. Okay, so that's going to sound like this. One chord, four chord, one chord, one chord, four chord, one chord, five chord. What are we going to do? Oh no. Yep, check it out. We can do this. Same idea. Okay, so we're going to come back through, brush, and then hammer on into the third of the five chord, okay? So one chord. Four chord. One chord. Chord and one chord. 
So the cool thing is that now we have these licks that work over the one chord, four chord, okay. We can also do that. And that also works over the one chord. Okay, when it's time for the five chord though, we can do this. Okay, kind of brush through all four strings along the way we get this uh, advantageous uh, kind of augmented five which is kind of a slick move just for a second though it doesn't really count <laughs> it's gonna be nice and easy it won't sound too sophisticated you know which can sometimes ruin a blues um, part of it's a huge part of how I play all right especially when I play you know rootsy blues and I'm the only guitar player because you know you can really cover a lot of ground this way so that fifth over the five chord again hammer on or we can come up right just like what we did over the four chord just come up two frets Speaking of options, I have the option to pick up this telephone call from my wife. So I'm going to say adios and do the Red House roll. Take it easy. Bye-bye.